Hi guys and welcome back to the Open Butchery channel with me, Franco Machulayo. Now, on today's show, I've got something fantastic for you and that is how to traditionally debone a sirloin of beef. Now, the sirloin in question has the fillet on the top, so we'll be removing that first. So, without further ado, bottoms up, heads down, you guessed it, let's crack up! <laughs> So, first of all, health and safety in mind, I should be putting on my uh, chainmail glove and removing the slaughterhouse ticket. Let's so have a quick inspection of that. I'm sure that's R4L, which is a really good code. A little bit of edge maintenance. Anybody that would learn, like to learn how to maintain the edge of the knife, then please look at the, my uh, edge maintenance video. So, where we go. So now I'm taking the um, fillet off and I'm following those, um, what I call knobbly bones along the uh, back end of the sirloin. And now I'm just gonna work my way down the plate bones. And you'll find these plate bones all the way along here where you see the bone in between the vertebrae. Um, there's a plate bone attached to each one of those. So just using the point of my knife I'm just skimming down those plate bones. I'm working quite quick here because I had about three bodies of beef to do on this particular day. So it's not exactly an instructional video, but it's, uh, I think you'll get a really good idea of what's going on. So that's the fillet removed. We'll come back to that in a different video. So now you can see the plate bones. So I'm just removing that little bit of skirt there. And now I'm just using the side of my knife just to scrape them bones clean. That's good. So a bit of trim, pull that to one side. A little bit more edge maintenance. And then we'll remove this excess fat. And then I'll just clear the fat off these rib bones so that you get a really good view of what we're doing. Just in a moment. Let's turn it around for you. So there, I'm just counting the three rib bones and then going through the vertebrae just after that one. And now I'll turn it over. Now I'm going to go down the back of the fin bones. Excuse my head there. So I'm just using the point of my knife and what I'm actually doing, I'm actually pushing to the right so that the point of my knife pushes against the, the fin bones on the back. I'm working my way down until the point of my knife rattles on the base of those uh, plate bones that you can see now. So a little bit more edge maintenance, always maintaining the edge of the knife as much as you can. So now I'm just working my way down the rib bones. Point of the knife again. Most butchery work is done with the point of the knife. Uh, I'm always saying this. So now what we're going to do, we're just going to work our way underneath this first bone. Like so. And then in a moment, we'll crack through the... Uh, through the cartilage in between the vertebrae. So that's one bone off. Then we'll do the next one. So not a lot of people leave these intercostal muscles on, and they're the muscles in between the bones there. Um, normally what happens is that the, the loins debone, and then these are taken off, or the actual loins sheet bone. So I'm just working my way down the plate bone there at the back. That's that one off. And we're going on to the third one. I'm being very careful here, of course. There's uh, some beautiful meat under there, and we don't want to slash it up. And there we go, through the vertebrae. Now you've got to be careful when you're pulling that bone back. You don't want to, if you pull it back too hard, you'll stick the bone into the meat, so you've got to be really careful. 
and I'm still using the point of my knife and just whittling around that bone and off it comes. I've got one more to go through here. Of course these plate bones uh, traditionally they were taken out singly as well but we won't be doing that on this video. So now the next step, we take the butcher's saw and we're going to start sawing through these plate bones. Nice and gentle. Listening to the tone of that saw. Once it starts to change, we then tilt the saw forward and start working on the, the next one along, or the next plate bone along. As you can see, I've done the first two. Now we're going through the third one. But I'm also starting the fourth, fifth and sixth at the same time. So I've gone all the way through there, not touch the meat underneath. And I'm just going to take these plate bones out singly. You see not too much meat on there. I will check them over after. Make sure that we aren't throwing anything in the way. Like I said, the speed I'm working at is, is generally the, the speed that I normally work at this. I can go quicker, but I don't generally do that on on sirloins. Of course, it's a very expensive cut. We want to maximise uh, the joint. So now, a little bit of edge maintenance, and then we're going to remove the spine. So I was just pointing there to where I was going to put the knife in. So I'm just putting the knife in there and I'm just revealing what I call the other knobbly bones, which are the ones inside. Now to be honest, you are better with a, a six inch boning knife for this particular task. It's nice to have that extra reach. And you generally get a, a better result. I'm still going round. We're sorting that bone out after. I'm just checking it for gristle and bone dust. So we just straighten it up. There's a little bit of excess fat there. And then we're going to take the gristle off the end there. Now this is a traditional way of doing it. There are different ways of doing it where you can peel all the fat back and take the gristle out and put the fat back again. But this is customer specification. So now we're just cutting it in half because this is um, for a job in a couple of days. And there you go. That beautiful sirloin there. Lovely bit of white fat there. Excellent. Good. So, thumbs up there. So, there you go, guys. I hope you enjoyed that video as much as I enjoyed doing it. Uh, if you did, then please press the subscribe button. Um, also press the like button, press the bell icon, and then you'll be notified for future videos. And I'll catch you next time on the Urban Butchery Channel. Skills for life.